Valve's Steam Deck is one of the most interesting devices that I have ever owned. Not because it features any exclusive games or a new and interesting design, but rather that it is a handheld console with a fully fledged desktop PC inside of it. This of course begs the question, can you use the Steam Deck as a standalone PC and daily driver? According to many, yes. But let me just say that the story is a lot more complicated. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at the Steam Deck desktop experience and why I personally don't ever want to use it as a daily driver, unless Valve changes some crucial things. Now, using a handheld device as a desktop isn't something that the Steam Deck invented. Many others were already well capable of that, as they usually feature Windows as their operating system. Valve's approach to the Steam Deck was different as they rely on their own Linux operating system SteamOS. And it's a so-called immutable distribution, meaning that users are not able to interact with any important system files. This is a genuine good approach since you don't want users to mess up their systems, especially when taking into consideration that the Steam Deck is probably also being used by less tech enthusiasts than Linux itself. But there are a couple of things that I wish they would have done differently. Let's talk about something that is kind of a crucial part for a portable device. Security. You just cannot properly lock your Steam Deck in desktop mode. If I were to use the deck on the go, let's say a gaming LAN or at home with your family or roommates, then there is no easy way to lock it, since Valve essentially deactivated this feature in their used desktop environment, KDE Plasma. And there are of course reasons for that. The default deck user that they use doesn't have a set password. Or at least I don't think it does. Changing this is quite easy, as you can just do it via the settings or the passwd command. But the Steam Deck still won't ask you for it after you turn it back on. Probably to simplify the switch to desktop experience. But also since the desktop mode is not really meant to be run as a workstation. You can enable it if you're willing to work around SteamOS's immutability. But unfortunately these changes won't survive SteamOS updates. And you have to reconfigure them every single time. The only thing that you can set reliably is a pin code, which you need to enter before switching to desktop mode. This is fine if you only use it for debugging, occasionally watching videos, movies and similar, or to install non-Steam games and applications. Of course, the Steam Deck is not meant to be run as a workstation. But I just wish there was a more reliable way to enable KD Plasma's lock functionalities, since in some cases you probably want to be secure no matter if you are in desktop mode or even inside a Gamescom session. The Steam Deck's immutable operating system in general is something that I don't really like on a desktop PC. And don't get me wrong, I really see why Valve and many other distros choose to be immutable and why it was the best choice for their handheld. But for me personally, it makes it a lot harder to use it as a desktop. KDE Plasma, the desktop environment that Valve chose for their desktop mode, doesn't mount file systems via an actual browsable path by default, like GNOME does with GVFS. Luckily, on the deck they included KIO Fuse, which replicates this functionality, but if I ever needed some other dependency for a feature to work, then I can't get it that easily. Yeah, I could utilize Distrobox, but it wouldn't integrate seemingly with the host system. Portability is a huge bonus for the Steam Deck. And I thought that if I ever needed to edit videos remotely, I would simply use it, hooked up to a dedicated monitor or even TV. Sounded really nice and realistic, though always packing a keyboard, mouse and docking station became more of a chore than initially planned. Depending on the room you're staying in and its provided features, it's also not so easy to edit videos for an extended period of time, as the battery doesn't hold its charge that long. This is partially due to DaVinci Resolve Studio's H.264 codec limitation on AMD hardware, which makes the CPU work a lot. And this is by the way also the reason on why my next Linux laptop will probably feature an NVIDIA GPU. So as of the moment the Steam Deck is not really a device that I want to use in desktop mode for an extended period of time. 
It has a lack of security as I cannot leave it unattended. I cannot reliably install system dependencies which are needed for some applications and its battery life is not all that great for my personal use cases. Which makes it essentially just a desktop PC with an always connected power cable. But this is of course not Valve's wrongdoing. The Steam Deck was never meant to be run as a fully-fledged PC, but as a console device. The desktop mode is only a bonus for installing applications, other game launchers or to do basic stuff online. But unfortunately, it's also wasting a lot of potential here. I know that the desktop mode works exactly how it's intended to work and that I'm definitely misusing it. However, I think that giving us the choice to utilize some of the features I mentioned earlier by still being immutable would be huge. The reason on why I'm bringing this up is simple. I'm currently looking for backup laptops in case my surface breaks and getting a device that could run the same things as the Steam Deck seems redundant to me. If I have the Steam Deck with me, then I usually leave my surface, but then I can't get any proper work done. But if I get a new laptop that can do both office work and gaming, then the Steam Deck is becoming completely obsolete for me personally. I don't know why, but somehow it feels like I don't need a new laptop as the Steam Deck is sufficient enough, yet I can't use it because its immutability is probably going to annoy me at some point. If Valve actually manages to fix the security issues and maybe even add their own repositories, which include some applications like mouse configuration software, then the Steam Deck has essentially everything I need. Sure, I still cannot edit on the small display, but that's easily fixable. The rest, unfortunately, is not, as I don't want someone else getting access to my VPN configuration, file shares or other logged in sites without providing any credentials whatsoever. I actually don't expect them to fix it. But it is something that I quickly wanted to talk about if you're looking into using the Steam Deck as a personal computer. At the end of the day, the Deck is not a desktop PC. It's a handheld console that plays PC games and offers a fully-fledged desktop experience, but it's not 100% compatible with everything. So definitely don't buy it for this exact purpose. If you found this video interesting and I could give you some thoughts on the Steam Deck as a desktop PC, then please make sure to show it with a like and definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks for watching and all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are. I'll see you around.